what you're gonna need for this DIY are lots and lots of popsicle sticks, so get your snack time on. Remember, don't just throw them away, you're gonna want to save them for later. Eat popsicle stick after popsicle stick. To get your mind off of how bad of an idea eating a whole bunch of ice cream in a row is, just sit down and get sucked into the world that is YouTube. Watch a funny you video would you not eat my pants? Ah! that somehow leads to you watching romantic proposal so videos. Beautiful. Which then inspires you to watch Titanic. Why are you even crying, Rose? There was room out the door for both of you! Why? <laughs> there was room on the door! Oh, Jack! Which eventually leaves you in a popsicle food coma. Then repeat till you have enough popsicle sticks, or you just could save time in your belly from aching by just going to Dollar Tree and buying some of their popsicle sticks there. We'll start off with the hanging shelves that are in the shape of the hexagon and the triangles. You're going to need one pack of the jumbo popsicle sticks Dollar Tree carries to make the hexagon. You're going to glue one popsicle stick on top of the other in the shape of a hexagon. I start off with a popsicle stick at the bottom, which is the base of the hexagon. Then I add two sides, glue two more sides on top of the initial two sides, and then I glue on the top of the hexagon. And I keep following this pattern. You might mess up a couple of times, you can always take the popsicle stick off where you messed up, or you can just deal with it and build on top of that. I used one entire pack of the 60 jumbo popsicle sticks that you buy at Dollar Tree, which are called craft sticks. If you want thicker shelves, just add another pack of the popsicle sticks to your shelf. You essentially make your triangle shelves the same way. You glue the popsicle sticks, one on top of the other, in the shape of a triangle, of course. You'll be able to make two triangles with one pack of the jumbo craft sticks. Place the triangles beside the hexagon shape to make sure they're the same width as the hexagon. You can leave the color as is, I ended up spraying mine with a brown spray paint. Now moving on to the cube shelf. Now this one looks the most complicated, but it really isn't. For this one, I'll be using the normal size 100 count craft sticks from Dollar Tree. You're going to start off by making 22 squares with the popsicle sticks. Now I'll be showing you guys a simpler way of making this. You won't be seeing me do the steps in the same order as you guys should. That's because when I was making this, I had no clue what direction I was going in. After making it, I quickly realized there's an easier way to do this. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you how to do, but you're not necessarily going to see me be doing. To nine of the squares, you want to lay craft sticks across them. This will be your base, second shelf, backing, and top of the cube. What you'll do is take one of the squares fully covered in craft sticks and glue on three of the plain squares to the front, left, and right side. To the back and top of the cube, you'll glue on the squares covered in craft sticks. Then repeat the same pattern with another set of squares to make a second cube. Once you've got both cubes done, you can glue them to each other. Like I said, I'm doing this backwards because I didn't know what I was initially going to do with this DIY. So I glued on the regular squares, then I added backing to the back of the cube and then a top to the top of the cube. If I would have made this the way I'm describing it to you guys, this would have been much easier for me to make right off the get go. Anyways, when you are putting everything together, you might have some gaps you don't like. So I just use extra popsicle sticks to cover up the gaps. Once you've got the base done, you can start adding the other squares to make up the other two cubes. Now again, I'm doing this in a weird way because I didn't know what I was doing. But you essentially do the same thing you did on the bottom. You're making two smaller cubes that make up a bigger rectangular shaped cube. There is one small difference between these smaller cubes. I did not add a top to one of these smaller cubes just so I could put a vase going through it. So if you want something that is taller going through the shelf, you just don't add a top covered in popsicle sticks there. Remember to hide gaps, just use extra popsicle sticks. So I went ahead and glued some to the corners of the cube to hide the gaps between the little squares that make up the cubes. Now to both sides of this cube, I went ahead and I glued on two popsicle sticks to the top and the bottom to make a diamond shape. Again, you can leave this as is or you can paint it. I ended up painting mine using this Design Master Rose Gold Spray Paint. Now moving on to something that you probably learned in elementary school. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to lie out your popsicle sticks so they make up the same width as a popsicle stick that is lying parallel. 
then you are going to start building up squares around that. So just layer them one on top of the other, one on top of the other, until you make it as deep as you would like your box to be. Now you'll be making four sides to the box. Again, you're gonna lay out the popsicle sticks so they make up the same width of one popsicle stick laying parallel. When you've got the popsicle sticks laid out, you're gonna glue on three popsicle sticks to each section. So you're gonna have one at both ends of the laid out popsicle sticks and then in the center of them. You're gonna do this to all four sides. Now the great thing about these DIYs is you don't need a hot glue gun to do this. You can use just regular school glue if you'd like. Once you have all four sides done, you can go ahead and glue them to your box. I glue them so that the side that has most of the popsicle sticks is touching the box. You could honestly leave your box just like this, but I wanted to thicken mine up a little bit more to make it more sturdy. So I go ahead and I lie popsicle sticks all over each side. To make this little box, you're just going to need one pack of the 100 count popsicle sticks. The box I made did have some gaps that were showing on the corners of the box, so I go ahead and I glue popsicle sticks over those corners so that you don't see any holes. Now you could put whatever you want in any of these pieces that I showed you, but for this box I want to show you exactly what I used. I used some of the floral moss from Dollar Tree, I just filled it up with floral moss, and then I just put a bunch of the succulents you get at Dollar Tree inside of the box. And then I used succulents to fill in the hexagon and triangle, as well as the cube. I just really, really, really like the way that it looked. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Really simple to do these DIYs and the best part is they're going to cost you a dollar for each one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 400 likes. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.